So Nick's canceled the prospector. What do you do now? In case you're not familiar with it, these are the prospector. Different makeups in this case. This is 1964 brown rough out. And as far as I know, this is a max support black rough out. I don't think they didn't call it max support at the time, but uh, it doesn't seem like this is the well, they didn't have 1964 at the time either. This is from 2021. These are modern, these are 2023 production. These were the quick ship before they canceled the quick ship, but they've canceled this boot entirely now. So, what do you do? Well, fortunately, they still do the MTOs, so you can basically build the same boot through the custom configurator. The main features, and these obviously vary a little bit, and you'll see right here, but if you look at these two boots, they're not even actually identical. They're pretty close, but this is what they call the cut top. There's no, this is just one piece of leather. I saw it, you saw my other video, whereas this is the standard top. Telltale side is you see that second row of stitching right there. And then you can see on the inside, there's another layer of leather just through the, it's thinner, it's just a thinner little wrap, whereas these don't have anything. You can see right there, it's just literally, they do run a little stitch line just for fun, probably just to keep it clean and it holds the tag on right there, but they do have one of the main key features, these both have the single piece backstay. To me, that's sort of like the, one of the main features, but it's also funny because I have a ready to ship boot that was sold in the ready ship last year as a prospector that has a two piece. And I'll show you that in a moment. My Dublin, natural Dublin pair. But to me, that's kind of the key. I used to think the, the what's it called? The cut top was part of it too, but considering these are pretty much a prospector too. And looking at the photo again, I'll put up a, I had to grab these images from the web archive or whatever, the internet archive, because they took down the prospector build. They used to have, if you look at the pictures on that one, and then even I remember the lug version, which was another boot they got rid of. There, there was a lug version of the prospector where it would come on the, the V100 lug. Those in some of the photos or all the photos show the standard top versus this cut top. But obviously the quick ship had the cut top. And I think before they took it down, the, the was, I don't even know, was there a class? Maybe there never was a classic config. There was just the custom config prospector. But in the photos, you see the, stand, the cut top. Uh, so the single piece backstay is a big piece of it, but what differentiates this from a Charlie is obviously that 11067 last. So, you know, sprung toe life, quite a bit different than the, the 55, which the, the Charlie's built on. Has the big, big toe and kind of the swing, which I love. This is kind of my favorite boot setup from Nick's and probably all the PNWs. Nobody else does this last except for, I think, Frank's. As far as I know, their 1977 last is the same thing, but I've never worn a pair personally. And then really the only other, I guess, key feature is to, to make it a true prospector is that, that heel. So it's supposed to be a moderate heel. They sell, oh, you know what I, I should clarify, in a dogger. I kind of always think of these together, but technically they're separate options. So if you look at, uh, what is it, the Palisade, oddly enough, they still have the Palisade on their site. I'm pretty sure like nobody's bought that. So I still kind of feel like Nix has some hate for this prospector build. I don't know what it is. They did say, I was talking to one of the employees on, uh, on a Discord and they were just saying, you know, virtually nobody buys this boot. So they just didn't see the point of a pre-configured version, standard version. To me, what that begs the question, how many people are buying that Palisade? I've seen one on the ready ship. I've never seen a single person post the Palisade. 
I just think they have bias for the tall heel and that's why they hate this boot. <laughs> and I'm a, I'm a fan of the moderate dogger. Moderate in general, the whites does the moderate heel uh, pretty good and they can do it with a logger profile, woodsman profile. I, I'm not against it, but I still prefer that dogger. And they don't do the dogger the same anymore. I, you know, let me switch boots here. So if you look at these, and I think I touched on this maybe in the, the video that I posted about my Halloween boot, as I call it, but you can see there's quite a bit difference there. So they, they kind of don't do as steep of an angle anymore. And for whatever reason, maybe to accomplish that before, they, they kind of left more of a ledge there on the, on the older heel. And I guess that allows the dogger to be, I guess, less risky with wearing into the, that thin outer part of the quabog heel. But yeah, so that's, that's kind of the, the key aspects, 11067. The, which I guess is in my mind really the biggest feature, like the 11067 last is true, like the, the skeleton, the struct, like the, the key piece of the prospector. But then the dogger, the moderate dogger heel would probably be the second most important piece. And then I do still feel, even though I have other prospect, you know, prospectors and quote, I'll call in quotes that don't have the single piece. I think truly they're supposed to have the single piece. And this all goes back to, it seems, and I feel like someone, maybe it was Shiler, someone confirmed on Reddit when I was on Reddit uh, previously uh, on the Knicks group that basically this came out of sort of Knicks trying to have something to compete with Viberg and, you know, without saying it, they probably mean the 310 because this definitely has some 310 vibe to it. I honestly prefer just if purely aesthetics, I would say I prefer the Prospector. It just has a little bit more of a elegant foot foot toe shape. The 310 is a little bit more, I don't know, wider and bulbous. 310's really comfortable, like it's super generous. You can splay your toes like crazy. So in some ways, maybe the 310's more comfortable, but I don't really think there's that much in it. And the 310 is awesome as it is because it's like rare and hard to get. The 11067, the Nyx bill, I should say, is just such a this boot, this boot feels like you go to war in it, whereas, you know, Viberg, they just don't have the, the build qual the durability, like the heavy duty build of a, of a Nyx boot. So probably overall, I would say I prefer the Prospector over the 310, but I love the 310 too. So yeah, that's, that's the Prospector. I have lucky to have these two pairs. I got the, I guess the final quick ship cause they don't, they took down quick ship and then they took down the Prospector entirely. So this is kind of a, an end of the era boot. I'm really happy that I ended up doing it. This is the final of that. And then this was just purely a luck situation. I was on eBay as usual and searching Nicks and Whites. And then I saw this pop up in my size 11E and I was curious about a black boot and black rough out. And I had this idea for the Halloween boot, which you saw in my video and I just had to go with it. And what's cool being this uh, 2021 build that has the McKay stitch and it's kind of neat. So this is sort of like a legacy version, I'm gonna call it and it's dope. Uh, it has some differences with the heel and the McKay and even the top. So it's different enough and it's my black boot. But what do I do now? What do you do now that you can't buy a prospector because they take it off the site? Well, there's a couple options. First option, MTO. So they will tell you the same, but you can do an MTO. So this is funny. This is the boot that I was kind of making a comment about earlier. This was bought off the ready to ship as a prospector. But in a way, I would argue it's not a, maybe not a true prospector because it has the two piece backstay. That to me is more of like a, a you, you could just as easily call this in theory, like a, a, I guess a modified Robert, because this has a dogger, which a Robert has, it's just this is a moderate and this is more actually custom than that. You can't do this. I don't know how this ended up this way. I'll talk about that in a second, but. Roberts don't normally come on leather, but neither does a prospector. So this leather sole is obviously what makes it a custom MTO. And then to me, the two piece with the pull tab is kind of more of a Robert vibe uh, versus the, 
single piece of the prospect or even or even the charlie so it's kind of like well what is this is this a robert is this a robert with a moderate heel on a 67 or is this a prospector with a two-piece backstay and pull tab you know it's all the same right so anyway that's that's a way to do it and you, you could just as easily customize if you're going to customize it with leather see you know this this is a custom option of leather they had the $20 up for Dublin back when they offered it leather sole I think was it's a $30 option they don't charge a difference for the backstay versus the single piece versus two piece but you know you could make basically a, a prospect or a version of it how you like with the MTO and they've changed the side around a little bit now where you can literally just go to that custom lace up boot uh, option and then just kind of like build it as you want another option is Similar MTO, but more of like a, it's a pre-built boot. And I'll talk about this actually in another, with another boot I'll pull out in a moment. But this was uh, not so much like a, just a generic custom MTO, like, like this pair. This was a limited run leather MTO where you're buying specifically the leather. So this was, they had a really limited run of these uh, over the summer. And that was why this was a cheat code and I got it really quick. This is a uh, milled, uh, what is it? Wicked and Craig milled buck brown. So they stamp the leather with this kind of grain pattern and then put it in the barrel or, or you know, tumble it. And it re it's really soft for Wicked and Craig. And the color was just dope. And it kind of had that same. I love or This is like my one of my favorite boots, if not my favorite boot. This had the same vibe. But you can do whatever you want with a lot of these. So I went crazy with this one. Uh, the leather is really cool, but then I do really enjoy my pull tab and the two piece. So I kind of kept it with that. I, in some ways I regret that and maybe should have done a single piece, but I, I like the pull tab. There's something about it, especially with the veg tan you just see that rough kind of, I don't know what it is. Same thing with these. It just feels nicer than like a chrome tan leather or combo tan. I did all eyes because I hate sometimes how these, I the, the hooks really dig into the false tongue and tear it up. Kind of want to do that. And I just want a different vibe. Like my 310 Vibergs don't have any hooks. So I did all eyes and then I went a little crazy with the heel. Obviously I did my moderate dogger because that's my preference. But then I went crazy and did the 269 Vibram. And unfortunately, I didn't know this. They don't compensate. I kind of like how it has that thinner rubber from kind of here on down. And that actually makes the heel even shorter. So this is like a, how do I call it? An extra moderate heel, because that's basically almost one uh, layer of, of leather out of the heel and you know more so than a normal one when you have a V-bar or 430 Vibram, which has a thicker rubber. So this heel is really low, it's, it's fine. Like I, I like the low heel. Maybe it's a little bit lower than I really wanted. And then you, know, you can compare it to this weird oddity. I don't know how this happened but whoever had bought this and then returned it or whatever and made it ready to ship, this has this whole extra piece of leather in here. I talked about this in some other videos that gives it that awesome walking heel, but it also makes the heel actually slightly higher. I wish I could, I wish I could get that as like an option, but I don't know what that is. If they did some tweak or it was the builder, whoever was doing the heel, like maybe they're a White's employee or something, was trying to make, former White's employee, trying to make the heel nicer. I really like this. The, the walking is perfect. You really get that walking flow. Whereas this one, it's super flat. You just kind of clump down. This one, this one rolls better like this. Whereas this is, it's like you clump. That's a whole other thing. So anyway, two other options. Full on, just think of this as a full on MTO custom boot where you pick everything. You literally do spec by spec exactly what you want or you get yourself uh, like a leather MTO, leather, limited leather, whatever, where they're running something and then you just spec it out. Most of the time they allow you to do the 11067 last. Sometimes you can't. Uh, one example was the, or still up I think, the Whiskey Predator. They don't allow you to pick the 67 last and they said it's because of the mock toe option. I think they should just say you can't get the mock toe with the 67 in the notes, but they, you know, Nix is the way they are sometimes. Sometimes I don't agree with it, but I, you know, I told them, okay, well, I would have bought the Whiskey Predator, but you, you don't offer it in the last I want, so I'm not gonna buy it. So most of the time with these limited leathers and whatnot, you can do, do the 67 and basically make a prospector. And then there's one other option I'll mention. 
This is the final option, and this is not even really a prospector anymore, but it's kind of the same concept. And what this would be would be what I would call like a 67 boot, and then you could customize it. So here is a Builder Pro 67. I bought this off the ready to ship, but you can get the Builder Pro in the 67. And if you customize a Builder Pro, you could, instead of choosing the default 10 inch height, which is like this, which is kind of extreme. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I'm, I'm making it work with these because I love this 67. You could though do your own Builder Pro and go down to a six inch. It already, you can already get it with the 67. You can customize the heel. I think home, you know, normally comes with a, a classic heel stack and a logger you know, woodsman profile. But I believe when you do a custom Builder Pro, you could change that up to a dogger and you could change it up to a moderate heel stack. So really the only piece that you're never gonna be able to do as far as I, I believe, I don't they look again, they change their side around sometimes, but you couldn't do the single piece backstay on a Builder Pro. I don't believe that's, that's an option because that's not the same boot really anymore. But as you saw earlier, I have prospectors in quotes that have the two piece backstay. So to me, it's sort of gray area. And then yes, they give you these kind of sawtooth kilties with the Builder Pro. But if you watched my video a while ago, it's really easy to put a soup can on there, trace it and with a knife and just cut it off. And then you end up with a, a uh, what do you call it? A, what do they call it? A heritage or casual kilty, if, like this style, which is hilarious that they put this on here, which I'm glad they did. But that's a Dome Pro 67 and a Dome Pro is sort of a Builder Pro limited thing they ran for the you know, Patina Thunderdome. And they didn't put the sawtooth on there, which I'm glad. I think it looks way cleaner without it. But my point being, they used to make a literally a standard configuration prospector with the, the uh, V100 lug. Arguably, you can modify up a Builder Pro to be a 67 prospector like, you know, similar to the prospector lug, but just with a two piece backstay. That's, that's another way to get close to the prospector. And then the other one, and this isn't too much different than the limited leather idea. I, you know, I was saying earlier with my uh, milled buck brown, but this was the Dome Pro. Uh, I call it Dome Pro, well, they call it Dome Pro 67 on the box. So I'm gonna call it that. Sort of like this is called the Builder Pro 67. But this was the Dome Pro, but they allowed you to do a 67, which was awesome of them. I really appreciated Nick doing that. They got a sale out of me for that. So, you know, you, you, you build it, they will come. I really wanted natural uh, English, sorry, uh, Wicked and Craig, English Bridal, tan, not natural. It's a natural color, so I kind of think of that. But they don't normally do that with the 67 because they say it's hard to last around the toe and whatnot. It tears with the Wicked and Craig. They made an exception, who knows why. Again, I don't know why Nix does the things they do. In this time, you know, sometimes it bothers me. I disagree this time, I thought it was dope. They did it. I'm not the only guy who bought them. I saw multiple on the, on the, the Patina app and the 67 on that leather looks freaking amazing. So here's another way, again, it's, it's not again the same thing because this, this is even maybe even further away because now you see you got a logger uh, heel profile or whatever the heel stay where it wraps further over and grows over these stitches. The casual heritage boots, it ends kind of back here it's not a huge difference. I can see it. I actually prefer the other way, but on that boot, it actually makes sense. It's supposed to be a more heavy duty boot, similar to the Builder Pro. Totally understand why they did it that way. I agree with them in this case. You can basically get, if I had done a six inch, if you think about this, and then this, I chose this lug sole, but you could basically have a six inch uh, lug prospector and I could have done the black, like the prospector used to come with the, the lug one, but I do, did the honey because I wanted the honey vibram. But if I had done black with a six inch, it would have been pretty much almost the same thing as the Prospector lug boot. And yeah, I could have done the cut top or the, this is a standard top, but I think they had the cut top as an option. Again, similar concept. You're allowed to do the moderate heel, which I did. So like, again, you could have got that close. I think they don't think they did that on a non lug sole, but again, they used to have a lug Prospector. So that's just the point I'm trying to make. You can, you can play with the site and you know the different options. It's all sort of like variances of the same thing. It's really more the last, the kind of category as far as the backstay or if you're doing a single piece, they don't do that on the kind of work boot. They only do that on the heritage. And 
yeah, you can, you can get yourself close to a prospector. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. I'm, you know, kind of like pouring, you know, pouring one out from, for my homie that the prospector has gone. Cause it's like my favorite makeup. I feel like from Nyx. And I just think it's cool, and I have a personal connection to it with basically living in kind of, you know, kind of the gold, gold country area of Northern California, and the prospectors used to be here, and the 49ers and whatnot, but not, the hope's not lost. You can basically still build the boot, and I still will. So anyway, I uh, just kind of wanted to do this as like a PSA piece.